Yo, what up everyone? Amir Rahim here, owner of Rapping and Snacking, coming at you another video. This one, it's going to be on my Westside Connection Bow Down Collection. Uh, Westside Connection being the group comprised of Ice Cube, Dub C, and Mac 10. Ice Cube, Dub C, Mac 10 right there. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. I always show my collection, I give opinions, all that good stuff. So, if you like that, Hit subscribe, appreciate y'all, and hit me up on Instagram at Rappin' and Snack, and let's get into this video. Recently, this album uh, had its 25 year anniversary. This released in October of 1996, uh, so 25 years. And in my opinion, it's it's just a stellar album. Um, in my personal opinion, you know, Ice Cube is my favorite rapper of all time. Uh, and I believe that this is the last classic album that he was majorly involved in. Um, and this is just a real great piece of work here. Uh, Dub C Mac 10 do an exceptional job as well. And I want to show my collection. So I have vinyl, I have CDs, I have tapes, and I have a couple stickers that I'm going to go ahead and show. First off, going to start off with the vinyl. So right here, what you see here is an original pressing, um, double vinyl. Let me pull it up. It's still an open shrink. Uh, so it is open. It's just still has a shrink wrap on it. And really I got this, um, a while back, you know, years, years ago. And I'm shocked as to how expensive these are. I'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot of uh, the Discogs prices for median and, and lowest and highest. And you'll just see right now on the screen how expensive it is. I was shocked when I saw that. But anyway, super clean um, condition. Right here, got a little promo cut right there. You can go ahead and see the back. And this is just such, such a, a great album. And you can see the track. This one funny thing here, I see a typo where it says written by on who banging dub S C G style. It says written by Ice Cube Mac 20, dub C K D the comrades and all from the I. So instead of Mac 10, they put Mac 20. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but such an, a great, great, great album. And my copy, I don't know if all of them came with this, but my copy, it had the record report in here from the source. So I'll show that in a sec. But we have, you know, side A, starting off a world domination intro, which is kind of an interesting skit. Um, the World Wide West Side, etc. You got side B. It's also on black vinyl. Um, nothing too flashy. We get side C here, starting off with cross them out with a K. And then we get side D here, ending in Who Bang and Dub SCG style. So boom, also on black vinyl. Um, and then to kind of go into the record report, this is actually shocking. And the reason why it's shocking to me is because the source, um, at times were biased towards certain artists, towards certain regions. And, uh, even at the premise of this album, you get like uh, West side connection saying, oh, well, we're standing up for the West side because no one else does except for, you know, the West coast. So they were kind of taking a stand, and, and you can hear it apparent through their entire album. A lot of songs uh, indicating the West Side's the best side, right? And on top of that, like tracks like Wester, Westward Ho or even Bow Down. Like if you're on the West Side of your town, make the mother fools bow down. So very West centric, a little OD on purpose. But on top of that, you know, they have all the critics in New York where they're dissing critics in New York. However, on the contrary, you see here, we get a four and a half mic praise. Uh, from the writer and from the source publication, which four and a half is very, very, very hard to get. You know, not a lot of albums have four and a half mics. And um, this to come in the mid 90s uh, from a New York publication is is very, very, very impressive. So I saw that and I was shocked. Uh, that That's just great. And honestly, I think this album does deserve four and a half mics. I think it is very, very, very great um, piece of work. Dub C, Mac 10. Ice Cube all do exceptional. I think Buddha on the production aspect does a fantastic job on this album. Ice Cube does some great production work on here. Uh, QD3 does. It's just a very good uh, piece of work. Now moving on, we have here a single. So um, this is interesting because this is a limited edition. I don't know how many copies this is limited to. Uh, my number is 1,068. Then you have the signatures um, that are Ice Cube, Mac 10, and Dub C signatures. They didn't actually sign the record. It's probably just, you know, printed on there. Um, but, you know, pretty cool. This one I'm going to keep sealed. I got it sealed. I'm going to keep it sealed. However, this is something that's not on the album. We have um, 
right here. This is an interview from November 23rd, 1996. It's like a 20-ish minute, yeah, 22 minute total runtime um, interview. I haven't heard that in a few years. So, um, but you know, it's just an interview. So definitely, you know, it gives you more information, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. So peep it out online. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Got the Gangsta's Make the World Go Round remix on there. I prefer the original. Gangsta the Killer and the Dope Dealer, incredible song. Westward Ho as well. Super dope. And then look here, like, <laughs> look, Best Side LLC. So they're just super OD on, on the West Coast. Um, you know, braggadocia, you know, best side LLC. It's like, you just assume it's it's the west side is the best side, so very funny. But um, there you have it, best side LLC. Dope single right here, limited edition. Then next up we got Gangsta's Make the World Go Round on vinyl single. Awesome, awesome, awesome song. Really like the cover art. And once again, it's, you know, west side connections taking over the world. Gangsta's Make the World Go Round, so they're very in your face about how they feel about the west coast. Uh, you got Gangsta Make the World Go Round, Bow Down the Ice Cube Gangsta Mix, and then the Gangsta Make the World Go Round instrumental. Really, really, really awesome song. Uh, really like that center label right there of the gang. And then, boom. So pretty cool. Now, next up, we have the track Bow Down. Really, really, really awesome song. Like them in their thrones. Once again, just showing how they're royalty. They're really amping themselves up, um, putting the West Coast out there. Really love the the West Side symbol right there. You got Bow Down, and you also have the track Who Bangin', which this is not the Who Bangin', which is featured on the album. This is the original Who Bangin', which it's actually all Mac 10 verses, and Ice Cube does the chorus. Uh, and then you have a girl singing at the end of it, which I actually think the original is great. The dub SCG style is also awesome. You know, you get more voices on there. You get Mac 10 verse, you get Ice Cube, you get Dub C, you get the Comrades, you get KD, you get All From The Eye. So that's also dope. But I think who bang in the original is honestly also great. Mac 10 does an, an awesome job by himself on the song. And then to show the record right there, boom. Who bangin'. Bow down. Awesome, awesome, awesome track. Then next up we have a generic sleeve, which is Gangsta's Make the World Go Round. This is just on a black generic sleeve. We got the hype sticker up there. Westside Connection, bow down. Awesome stuff. And then what is the B side here? It's just make Gangsta's Make the World Go Round again. Really, really, really awesome song. Let's go ahead and show um, these two stickers I got, just promo stickers, Westside Connection. It's just the W, really dope, great condition. I don't remember where I got these stickers from. Super, super awesome, love these. Next up, I'll get into the CDs that I have. First off, we have the CD single for Gangsta's Make the World Go Round. Boom, you can see the clean version is called People Make the World Go Round, so that's funny. And then you can see the W hand, hand gesture again right there in, in, in the background, super hard. You got the spine, gangsters make the world go round. Oh yeah, and it was issued without uh, cover art. And then on the back, there you have it again. Boom, best side LLC. I just think it's so funny. They're just so aggressive with it. Um, but boom, that's that CD. And then next up we got Bow Down. CD single, stupid awesome cover art as I've already stated. You get Bow Down right there. And then the back, Bow Down and Who Bangin'. Super, super, super awesome stuff. Yes, sir. I'll show you the CD too. Boom. And then lastly, we have the actual album right here. CD album for Bow Down. What a great freaking album this is. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I'm probably gonna end up reviewing uh, one of these songs on here, do a song breakdown on it because I'm just such a fan of this album. I think uh, it, it's just really special. And then there you have uh, the hand gesture once again. Such a great piece of work. And then let's go ahead and get into the cassette tapes. We have Bow Down on cassette single. These are actually the exact same replica. One of them I believe I got for free. Uh, either I got it for free or it was like stupid cheap. So I just bought it again for like less than a buck or a buck. So um, the one right here is in better condition. Yeah. Great, great, great song. 
Let's just show this tape. Who banging? Bow down. Really, really dope single. Then we got Gangsters Make the World Go Round. Boom, boom. B-side, you know, once again, the Bow Down Gangs mix, the instrumental. And then I'll show the actual tape itself. Gangs Make the World Go Round. Boom, boom, Bow Down, etc. And then lastly, we have the actual album on cassette tape. Bow Down right there. Yeah, this is great. What a dope album. If you have a favorite song, go ahead and let me know. I mean, it's so good. It's really a consistent piece of work. But yeah, that's about it. That's my uh, Bow Down collection. I just pulled this, pulled this out for my photo, and then I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and record a video in case anyone wanted to see any of these in, in detail. I figured maybe some people didn't know about the original Who Bang Him because it's not on the album. They may not have known about like these stickers. They may not know what, you know, the source gave it. They may not have known about that interview. So there's just like a lot of stuff that I think um, that showing is important. So if you have any opinions on this album, go ahead and let me know. I think it's just a, a great album and uh, I'd be excited to hear what people think of it. But anyways, uh, like I said, please subscribe. Please share uh, love on the channel. It means a lot to me. Um, and let me know if you have any video suggestions or if you want me to review anything on this album because I just might do that. But until next time, peace out, bless up, and adios. I'm out.